So another idea related to this concept of dependence and independence in music is the relationship between the conductor, who might be leading a group of musicians, and the musicians. So in the Army of Generals and the Power Orchestra, that's often Charles Hazelwood. He will be leading a performance with visual cues. But of course, in the Power Orchestra, there are many musicians um, who either have reduced uh, sight or visual impairment, like I do, or no sight at all in some cases. And so they have to take their cues uh, from musicians around them in a slightly different way. Um, and one very sort of practical way in which we might slightly change our method of working or slightly kind of exaggerate our method of working for that uh, purpose to assist musicians who have no sight and are uh, unable to take their cue from the conductor is by, in the case of wind players, actually taking in a louder in-breath so we're not talking about hugely kind of exaggerated <gasps> because that would be not sound very good and not look very good and not be very professional. But um, if you have a group of players who are sitting near to each other, then we might be able to just slightly, slightly lift our breath to make it more perceptible to a person sitting two chairs down or a few feet, a few feet in front of us. So whereas normally you try to reduce the sound of the breath, I might do something like So it's just that the breath before I play any given phrase will just be that little bit louder to uh, give a sort of aud uh, audible cue and a sort of sense of the note is going to start here, and that will hopefully help uh, other musicians um, who might have a visual impairment um, or might be blind uh, to join in the music with more sense of sort of osmosis, really.